any of you have seen Indian tribes totem poles or any other? <laughs> How many of you have seen any Indian tribes totem pole or any of the oh, any Indian tribes like artifacts, spiritual artifacts, and kind of want to have one of your own? Well, this is, this one is called a God's Eye or Ojo de Dios. This this one you can make your own. It's made by the Hio, the Hiocho tribe. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. From Western Mexico, it is believed it is believed to represent the unknown, the unknown and the unknowable. And each of the four corners represent four elements like earth, wind, fire, and air. <laughs> water, sorry, and water. And how it's used. This one, uh, a god's eye is pretty much simple to to make, but the the real ones, such as the, the ones that are made from the tribes, are a bit complicated. It requires two sticks. They're tied to they're tied together by different colors of thread, different colors of thread, and um, is pretty much what it is. What what this represents? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> represents the unknown. And it's also being used by Christianity to to mean that God God watches over you to be used as good luck charm. To use as good luck charm and um use as good luck charm. Um how I represent with this culture is that um I don't really relate to many of, of my Mexican culture. Like I don't even speak Spanish because my parents never taught me. And I guess they expect me to learn during the wait, during the time, but I never did. And you know, and that's re honestly a big embarrassment for me because I don't speak Spanish and I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> but but so I, I made this during my Spanish class because it just made me at least feel a bit closer to my Mexican heritage and how and how like in my family we don't we also don't even um, celebrate any Mexican. Celebrations such as the Day of the Dead, and but mostly because they believe it it disturbs the souls of who who just needs to rest, disturbs people, and um and you know I just decided just to make this one cause, again just to feel closer to my Mexican heritage because I'm not that close to it, and um. And also, I'm, I'm a Christian, but not a hard, but not re, not a hardcore Christian. Such as, such as, um, I don't go to church every Sunday. I don't go to church every Sunday, and but I do pray to God once in a while, not every day. And and this is how I keep this in my room because again, it uh, the Christian, the Christian uses to put them in their the. the um, a, a, a totem pole, and whoever prays them, it gets blessed with fortune, not not like uh, money, but just just like just that you'll be blessed and how you'll be washed over by the Almighty, and um, and I just hang this up in my wall because um because just just like um, it makes me feel closer to God, and um. And the and um the 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 one the ones that are made by the the the, the Hiocho, like I'm pretty sure that's the sound. The one that used by the Hiocho, when when a child is born, the father makes makes an eye for each year that it's born until the child's fifth birthday. And um and um child's fifth birthday. And you know, um, and if 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 you see one made by the by a tur by a, by a simple market, it won't hold as much much spiritual meaning as it's made by the actual tribe that it was made. So, um, if you want to make one, you can. You just need two chopsticks and uh, you know three different colored thread. So, with this, uh, with this, I hope you have learned. Learn about the God's eye and where it's from, where it came from, where it came from, the Hucho tribe made by Western Mexico, from Western Mexico, and um, a bit more of how I relate to this. 
and um, that's it.